Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing my predictions for every single region this week for VCT. Uh, I'm just going to be going through Pacific, EMEA, and Americas. Not in that order. I don't know why I said it in that order, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to be telling you who I think is going to win, kind of some thoughts about the game, and then my power rankings for each region, uh, which should be pretty fun. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, it's my first time doing a video on every single region. I usually just do these in like three different videos for each region throughout the week. And I kind of wanted to see what it would be like to do one whole one. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so starting off here with EMEA. Um, last week, my pickums for this region didn't save, even though I swear I hit submit on them. But it was my worst week of pickums so far, barring Fnatic beating Koi, but that's just going to happen. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I've only gotten one game wrong per week, even in the super week. So it's kind of annoying to have that happen this week. But now into this week, uh, we have Fnatic Vitality. I think Fnatic should be able to take this one here. Uh, they'll just continue to roll. I think I've said pretty much every week since week two, maybe, for this team. Uh, they're just the best team in EMEA by far. Uh, and I think the only team that could challenge them is Na'Vi. And I don't think Na'Vi's going to challenge them in the regular season. Maybe in the playoffs. But. And then Foot Carving Corp. I was lower on foot when they were coming up, uh, the power rankings, and now that they're starting to drop down and Carmine's starting to come up, I think I'm going to take Carmine Corp here. Uh, they've actually looked fairly decent the past couple weeks, beating Koi last week, and I think they continue to go up and foot continues to go down. And then Koi, BBL, Koi lost to Carmine Corp last week, I'm going to take BBL. Uh, I know I just talked about Carmine Corp getting better, but Koi is just so bad right now uh i think you can make an argument that they're the worst team in the league but i think there's other teams that are still worse than them as we'll see when you get to the power rankings and then liquid navi i think navi is still trying some stuff out and if this is a playoff game i would pick them without a doubt i'm gonna take team liquid here uh who just beat giants last week and have looked super super good in that game and who and i mean they looked pretty good against heretics but it's heretics so the week before so i don't think you can take too much off of that but i still think this game will be very close i think safe's gonna pop off i think cned's gonna pop off even though cned's not playing as well as of late but he's been playing more like the flex like omen stuff so we'll see i think team liquid have a very good chance of taking this though and i wouldn't say that i would favor them but i'm gonna pick them here to win and then giants heretics uh, giants are gonna win uh heretics suck uh not too much to say about that and yeah now under the power rankings and now for the emea power rankings we'll start at the bottom of the list with team heretics who are dropping down uh to 10th because they have just not looked good lately, and Carbon Core has looked better. Uh, same thing with Koi, I think. Team Heretics has been worse over the whole season, and probably looked a little bit worse lately. So, I don't, I'm not fully comfortable with cutting, putting Koi at the bottom spot, but it's neck and neck between those two. And then Carbon Core just beat Koi, who I have at ninth place, so I'm going to put them in 8th. They did look like the better team, which is kind of surprising, considering... Uh, where they started in the league, obviously. Uh, if I put the power rankings down, go to Carmine Core here. Uh, they play Giants, Fnatic, and Foot, so they're not making playoffs. But I could see them maybe squeezing a win out here. Uh, so they would finish at they won those three games five and four, which would probably get them into playoffs. But they're not beating Fnatic, and. They're probably not beating Giants. So I think they might have a chance if they squeeze in it 5-4, and four, if they beat Foot, and then they'd have the tiebreaker over them. They'd have to have a lot of things go their way. But back onto the power rankings. Uh, Vitality, I have over uh, that tier, like in the next tier, like the borders. You can see the different colors of the different tiers. 
uh, I just think Vitality lately, again, like like I said last week, they just have not been very good. They've just had some hiccup -y moments, I guess. Like, I don't know. I just don't... They're not the team that they started the league as, or I had them ranked third coming in, I think it was. The individuals don't look terrible. It's just a lot of the, like, coordination and stuff isn't there, which kind of just kind of surprising for a team that's been together as long as they have like back in before Red Bull home ground so they're probably one of the more disappointing teams here but foot coming down to six uh, I never understood the top like the top like three hype like oh they might be able to beat Fnatic kind of thing it just never made sense to me it was very similar to the Furious stuff in America's uh, people just overreact way too much, and they're dropping down a couple spots, uh, but staying in this, like, middling tier in EMEA. And then BBL, uh, I thought they were better than Foot, uh, and then I have to put them above Vitality as well, because they beat them. This is probably the hardest tier to rank out of all of them, just because of, like, how close these teams are together, but BBL has looked pretty nice the past couple weeks, picking up picking up two wins, and maybe giving them a chance. Who do they play? Yeah, I mean, looking at their schedule here, this is actually very doable. I think if they... I think these are two extremely winnable games, I and mean, have them ranked over foot right now. And, I mean, I think they could squeeze out a upset against Team Liquid. So, should be a very fun end to the season for this team to maybe squeak into playoffs. I don't think they're going to make Tokyo or anything, but that would be quite fun if they made it in. And then Giants at four. I mean, they lost to Liquid last week, and then I had Liquid right behind them, so I just got to swap those two. It's not really anything crazy. Uh, Navi having a decently close game against Vitality. Again, I just don't see a world where this team isn't just trying stuff, and then they go back to playing normal for playoffs, and then they just roll everybody except Fnatic. Uh, but I do have Fnatic in a tier of their own, as I have had for, like, I think it's three weeks now. Let me check. One, two, three. Yeah, three weeks. So, I don't know. I just, I don't see this team dropping below the first spot. I mean, I think they could maybe lose in, like, a grand final for seeding, kind of similar to, like, how Optic did the, all the time last year. Uh, but I just, I, there's no way this team doesn't make it to Tokyo. Or even place top two, I think. That would be a absolute shock if they didn't do that. But yeah, on to Pacific now. And so this week with Pacific, uh, unlike last week, I actually got a chance to watch all the games. So, I mean, this should make my predictions a little bit better, even though they were still fairly good last week. Uh, I also, just a little hint to the power rankings, uh, there is a lot of movement in those, which is probably due to me not watching the games last week and actually doing it this week. So to start off here, Talon versus Gen.G. Talon looking really nice in their loss against Paper Rex pretty much like, eliminating them from the playoffs. But still, gives you hope for this team in the future. Uh, going up against Gen.G, who looked not quite, like, tragic, but pretty bad against Global last week. So, I'm actually going to take Talon here. I think Gen.G is going to have a little bit of that Furious Syndrome, uh, is what I like to call it, where everybody's like, oh yeah, Furious or Gen.G might be the best team right now because they're undefeated alongside the top team in that league but genji was never in the same tier as drx and never will be uh, at least for this split um and after that game they lost furia fell off a lot and now i think genji is going to fall off a lot um and lose to talon here not that i think talon's playing particularly terribly at the moment but i just think genji is going to Take some losses there here and there against some teams that are probably worse than they were playing before. And Talon's got the individual talent to do that. So I think they'll take this one against Gen G. And then Zeta Paper Rex. Uh, this is a big match for playoffs. Uh, basically, whoever wins this is basically guaranteed in playoffs, uh, if not already. Uh, and it could be a big match to decide like the seeding and who gets to Tokyo. But I'm going to take Paper Rex with the overall experience. Of this roster, I do like uh, what 
I mean, I've talked about this in the past. I've like, like Forsaken swap onto the Killjoy. Not as much like the flex, like sky stuff. I just, I don't get it. Um, but yeah, I, I think this team, the roles are a little bit wonky, but I think they're starting to level out and be about where you'd expect them to be for their previous, like, their previous accomplishments at, like, Copenhagen and, I mean, maybe not at the other events after that. But, and, I mean, the general individual talent on this team should make them a top contender no matter what. And I think they should be able to beat Zeta Division here. Uh, and then Global RRQ. Uh, RRQ are the second team to take a map off of DRX. Not something that I thought I would say uh, during this split. But I think they're still going to lose this game. I mean, they got stomped by... I mean, I guess... No. No, split was... I think it was split. Was a was a decent game. And then they got stomped in the last map, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah. I think Global still takes this, even though RRQ is looking pretty good. Uh, global, I mean, they 13-8, 13-8, right? Or maybe 13-9 on one of the maps. They did that to Gen G, and I think Gen G's a pretty good team. So I'm going to have them winning this game. And then Secret T1, I was really on the Secret train at the start of the season, like first couple weeks as well. And even when they started to fall off, I still had them ranked in the top five. But I, st- I got to pick T1 here. Uh, even though they lost the map to... Uh, detonation focused me. Uh, team Secrets just look tragic. Uh, just not the same team that you saw at lock in or the, f- or the first couple of weeks. I mean, they literally had that happen again. The thing I was talking with Gen G, they had that happen to them after they lost to Gen G. Uh, which week was it? This week, yeah, week three. After that, they've just fallen off completely. Uh, I mean, they beat T1. I don't think that was very convincing. I don't know. And then this game was like kind of weird. And yeah, they lost. Right? Yeah, they lost last week. So I have them losing that game. And then DRX Detonation Focus Me. I mean, this is similar to the Loud Crew game uh, that just happened. Uh, it could be close if DRX decide to troll, but DRX don't troll like Loud does. So they should be able to win this game. And now onto the Pacific Power Rankings where we're going to start at the bottom with Detonation. Uh, lost the T1 last week. I know they made it close, and it was probably a lot closer than a lot of people expected, but I still think they're worse than all of these other teams. I think Pacific as a whole kind of got... kind of took a level up last week. Uh, I feel a lot more confident about more of these teams than I did last week. Maybe that's because I didn't watch the games, but before that, I didn't really feel that confident about anybody outside of those, like, top three, maybe, and then maybe, like, another team uh, on top of them, whether it be, like, your secret T1, Zeta, Talon, Global, I don't even know. Like, one of those teams I felt fairly confident in at some point. Um, And then Team Secret above them, dropping down four, uh, I, I just think it's time for them to come down. They're just not playing well. And I th- I think they're worse than all of these other teams. Like, I don't think they're ninth place, like, awful, terrible. Like, they might be the worst team in the league. I still think they're better than Detonation by a decent amount. But I think they would compete uh, Detonation. I think it was, like, 13-9 on at least one of the maps. I wasn't... I don't really remember that that game too much, but... I still think they're worse than your RRQs, Globals, Talons, uh, T1, Zeta, all that kind of stuff. And I really don't think they're a contender for playoffs anymore with the way they're playing. And then RRQ, uh, as I was talking about earlier, they beat DRX on Haven, which was kind of crazy. It was kind of a counter strat game from them that I didn't think was like super duper like crazy like they're so good but it was very very nice to see from them that they can come out and beat drx on one of their home maps but i still don't think they're better than any of the teams above them uh, which is generally the case for most of these teams uh global jumping up two spots after going down to nine last week uh they got a huge win this week over who they play i forget genji yeah it was genji um 
and I think they're going to continue to roll. Could probably go up from here next week. Uh, do they play again? I got to check. Yeah, they play RRQ, so they should be able to handle that. Not that RRQ is terrible or anything. They're literally the place below them, but I still think I still think Global's better than that team as I have ranked them higher. I don't know why I'm saying that. And then Talon at six. Uh, they moved up two last week from nine. Uh, I'm going to keep moving them up. Uh, they played really nice against Paper Rex. Uh, I think they'll win this week. Uh, I still don't think they'll make playoffs. I think they'll be like just out on the edge, depending on... Actually, what's their schedule looking like? If they beat Gen.G, then they play RRQ, which is very winnable, and then they should beat Detonation at the end. So it's very possible that they go 4-5 and five and maybe could sneak in to that last spot. Uh, but I still think that's very unlikely. And then T1 going down a spot. I don't think they did too much wrong this week, other than having a fairly close game against Detonation. Uh, but I just think Seda looked better. That's why I have them at four. And then Gen G, they lost. I'm going to drop them down one. I'm not going to overreact too much. Uh, that's for the predictions, not for uh, not for the power ranks. The power ranks, I try not to overreact as much. And then Paper Rex going up. Uh, even though they had a close game with Talon, uh, I, I think they're better than Gen G at this point. They've proved it. And DRX in the tier of their own at the top, I think is pretty self-explanatory. And now, finally, we're on to the Americas region, where the Loud Crew game just finished. I honestly considered recording this part of the video before that finished, uh, because I was still finishing up watching the, some of the Pacific games earlier today. But... I mean, I did not expect that game to be close at all, but props to Crew for making it a little bit a little bit closer than it should have been. But now onto week six, uh, this upcoming week where we got Sentinels versus EG. Uh, Sentinels got ripped apart last week against Cloud Nine, and EG was starting. I mean, they beat Leviathan. I think Leviathan choked a little bit in that game. But I still am going to have Sentinels winning this. Uh, I still believe in believe in this roster with Marv. Uh, I know, I know they've looked really bad, and this like this prediction is a little bit questionable. Uh, but I'm going to take the experience over that, and also the memes from this game, from the especially the Sentinels Twitter account, are going to be so good. Uh, and then Cloud Nine, MIBR, MIBR have looked bad. I'm going to take Cloud Nine. Uh, Simple as that. Cloud9 might be the best team in America's right now. Uh, I would still have Loud, but I could see how you would predict that. And then Loud, 100 Thieves. I'm going to take Loud. Uh, the last time I predicted against 100 Thieves, they won. So I'm going to do that again, and they'll win this game, surely. As a 100 Thieves fan, this team is tragic at times. Uh, I mean, the Leviathan game was good, and the end of the crew game was good, and then the rest of it has just been bad. Um, and, yeah, I, I don't, I genuinely don't see any world where they beat Loud, but I did say that for the Leviathan game, and they won that, so you never know. Leviathan crew, even though crew did look pretty close against Loud and Leviathan choked last week, I think they'll fix up some stuff and be able to beat their Latam rival. And then NRG Furia... Probably the game of the week. Uh, I'm going to take NRG. Uh, they looked super clean against 100 Thieves. They just had the perfect read on everything they were going to do. And Furia have been kind of stumbling lately. Uh, we talked about it earlier in this video with Gen G. I think it was with Foot. Like, this team is not as good as people were saying they were. Uh, like, Khalil had a life game against Leviathan, and that was pretty much it. Like, it was like, yeah, this game, and then, yeah. They beat Crew, and then they upset Libya Top. Like, they were never going to beat Loud. Uh, they were never the number one team. Whoa. That was weird. I don't know if that showed up for you guys, but... Uh, yeah, these are my pickups for this week. And now onto the power rankings. And then onto our last power rankings of the video. We have the America's power rankings, where we're going to start at the bottom with MIBR. Uh, they look pretty bad against Furia. Uh, I... I just think they're the worst team in the league right now. Uh, crew had a decent game against Loud, nearly beating them. But Loud managed to pull through at the end just because they're the better team. 
Uh, EG having two weeks in a row, looking really nice uh, against Loud. I mean, they got 13 0 obviously, but the other two maps, they looked really good. I think that was last week. And then this week, upsetting Leviathan. Um, I'm not going to overreact too much and put them too high because they've had some decent weeks where they've just completely shit the bed the next week. So I think that's iffy. Uh, I think some a lot of my faith in that team is restored. Um, but then, yeah, I, I just think both those teams are better than MIBR, but I'm not going to move them up a tier just because they had some decent games. Uh, like, I'm not going to overreact to two weeks when we've had an entire season worth of stuff that kind of disproves that. Uh, and then Sentinel staying put at seven. Uh, I think they're still better than the teams below them, but not all that great right now. Uh, 100 Thieves at six feels a little high, if I'm being honest. Uh, but I still think them and Sentinels are better than the teams below them, even if they are struggling and doing pretty bad right now. Then Furia going up one. Uh, that re that wasn't really too much to do with their performance, more to do with other teams dropping below them. Uh, I think you could argue that 100 Thieves and Sentinel should be in their own tier, or even in the tier with EG Crew and MMBR. And I wouldn't necessarily disagree with you, but that's just not where I have them. I think all these teams can take games off each other, uh, except for Loud, I think. Like C9 and MMBR could take games off each other, maybe, even though I wouldn't necessarily predict that. Uh, same with Cena and Sentinels, even though they just rolled Sentinels. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Furia going up, and then everybody else staying put. I know Leviathan got upset, but I'm not going to put anybody like Furia, 100 Thieves, or Sentinels over them. So, And I'm not moving EG all the way up there. Up there so I think these rankings were pretty good last week. Uh, just some weird results, kind of moving stuff in, around on the bottom. And 100 Thieves kind of struggling against NRG. So I'm going to move them down. And yeah, that's it for the power rankings. And yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Uh, I don't normally do these videos, as I said at the beginning. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, it lets me know that you guys enjoyed this kind of video. Uh, and if you guys didn't, uh, let me know. Uh, I, would, I would love to know because I do think these videos are a little bit more difficult to make than like three separate videos throughout the week just because those videos are like super quick and easy to make bang 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 throughout the week so uh let me know in the comments below and also by using the like button uh but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace